A Senate committee is set to meet tomorrow to hear testimony from LSU officials about sexual misconduct claims and how the university has handled them. But there's one problem. The 10 people they asked to attend the hearing aren't showing up. As Mike McDaniel explains, the committee still has work to do, but a legal battle is also getting in the way. At least 10 LSU administrators are asked to testify Thursday in front of the state Senate's Women and Children Committee. With recent allegations against the university, staff and athletes, lawmakers want to understand how sexual misconduct claims have been handled by school leaders. It is essential for us to hear with, from the people who are involved in the actual events that happen. Now, I Representative Amy Freeman is on that committee and doesn't expect any of those asked to testify to show up. Instead, the committee is getting written statements like the one Tuesday from head coach Ed Ogeron. We have a lot of no-shows tomorrow, which is disappointing. Since the committee didn't issue subpoenas, no one can be forced to testify. That's something Freeman says the committee is working on through the Women's Caucus. As a caucus, we decided invite people first and then decide if we're going to subpoena. Wednesday, an attorney for LSU sent this letter to the committee stating others on the list will be advised to not show up. That's because of a $50 million lawsuit filed the same day against the university and administrators on behalf of current LSU Associate Athletic Director Sharon Lewis. The things that Sharon Lewis went through, no human being should have to suffer. Attorney Bridget Brown says Lewis was subjected to racism and degrading policies within the athletics department when Les Miles was head coach. The lawsuit claims when Lewis reported Title IX violations, she was met with retaliation. I've never had a man or child ever talk to me so disrespectful. In a separate case, Gloria Scott claims former football player Darius Geis sexually harassed her at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome where she was working in 2017, but the university did nothing. While testimony may be lacking Thursday, Freeman says the mission of the committee will continue. She's even working on a bill to create a new and more stringent way of reporting Title IX cases to the legislature. That's where we can make real change. We can bring bills. We can keep the conversation going during session. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.